Good morning cultists, welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Kutaloops. In our last episode, we ended things off in the middle of our war with the Abbasids for the Duchy of Tabriz and with the Utsang for, well, the rest of their territory. Right now with the Utsang, we have a fight going on, so let's let that uh, happen. And this stack can go into Zongba and then into Gerzi, and you guys can go into Kokken. After this battle of Gela is done, you guys can move into Saka. Kind of wish I could um, tell them to just go there after the fight, but if I tell them to go there now, they'll unfortunately uh, count that as a retreat. So that's not going to happen. Um, these guys in Zanjan Abhar and uh, what is this? Maragha or whatever can meet up in Kurdistan and then we'll split, uh, split the uh, stack up and then send one stack into. Vaspurakan and the other into Erbil. Just add a G in there and change that I to an E and then it turns into Richard Gear's favorite county. Alright, um, we have some vassals that I think are a little troublesome. Like especially our ducal vassals. Obviously because they don't like the fact that I have given out uh, vice royalties and shit. So I kind of wonder if perhaps there's a way to revoke some of these titles without inciting rebellion. Hmm, because right now they are both backing a plot, and if I could somehow, I don't know. Okay, so this guy is this guy, and he's backing that plot, so let's not try to imprison him yet. Uh, maybe we'll just go with this guy first, perhaps? Alright, so he's saying no to that, and we can have our vassal troops come in if he rebels against me. I'm really hoping that he doesn't, um, but there's actually a good chance that he might. So let's take his duchy, I guess? Yeah, sure, let's take his uh, duchy and hope that he just concedes without rebelling. Please just say yes. Say yes to the dress. He said yes to the dress. Fantastic. Alright, let's uh, get him a f in a feedback loop and um, revoke all his shit. And in the meantime, the fights are going to just keep on happening. Alright, I believe we might want to take the rest of your counties down there. Uh, let's go with Daman, I think. Sure, and hope that he concedes to that as well. Alright, you guys are done with a Royal Rumble and they're moving to Saka, so why don't you follow guy those guys over there. And you are almost into first stand. Fantastic. Great, thank you very much. Perfect. Let's split you guys up, send you into uh, Erbil, also known as Jerbil. Not quite, but anyways. And you guys are going in your respective places, that's great. And now we have... What the hell? <laughs> we have a Manichean... courtier or Count? What the hell? Uh, does he have any other Manichean, uh, vassals? Okay. Doesn't seem like it. Alright, somehow he managed to become Manichean all by himself. I'm not sure I understand how that happened. But, uh, alright, so this guy's stuck in a yes-no feedback loop now. Fantastic. Let's take Navasarika and we're gonna t take the rest of his counties too. Thank you. And that should be the entire duchy uh, available to us now. So let's go ahead and give that away before our vassals get too pissy. Um, I read this guy's name is Titsuk, and I got very, very excited. But unfortunately, his name is not Titsuk; it is Tritsuk, which must be very um, I I don't know. As far as names go, I feel like that's a bit of a w awkward name to uh, present to your uh parents as your would-be lover or something. Like, imagine going um, to meet your parents with Tritsuk over here, and then um, accidentally introducing him or her as uh, Titsuk. I don't know. Maybe some people are uh, more into that then. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways, uh, let's go with uh, Zangsta as... Uh, Daman. As the ruler of Daman, rather. And we can go with... Not the envious seducer dude. That guy could be problematic. Let's go with this guy as Vadodara. Great. And we're gonna leave Titsuk to be the ruler of somewhere else, because he's got some pretty good stats. 
And a pretty banging name. Uh, and we need to ask you to stop backing another plot. So let's get that going. In the meantime, these fights are going the where they're going, I guess. We'll just let them continue. Alright, you dumb son of a bitch. We're gonna take your county. And, uh, that'll be that. Pretty much. Still a little bit left to go, I suppose, but, you know, it's fine. It's all good. You dumb bastard. And now we take your duchy. You fool! Great. And, uh, let's not forget to take his last county there. It'd be... My concubine is pregnant, but I was away, wasn't I? Um... Concubine, I hope you're not going around fucking some other dude. Because that would be completely unacceptable. Alright, well, let's hire someone to find out. In the meantime, we are going to install... I'd say, let's go with a content dude in this place. This is the, uh... Kingdom of Gujarat. Um, yeah, let's just go find a content dude. We don't really care too much about their stats. As long as they're able to hold their own. Genius man. Perfect. Genius man, you can take Saravasta, Mandala. And non-genius man. Uh, Craven non-genius man, you can take Ketaka. Perfect. And we are going to make you the new Duke of, um, Gujara Mandala. Perfect. And the new Viceroy of Gujarat. Sweet. So that's that dealt with. You, you. Um, I can't do anything with him, I don't think. I believe he is the leader of a plot, and he's also backing a plot. Hmm. Let's leave that for later. I think he's gonna be a maybe. Yeah, I don't want to have a massive rebellion right next to my uh, capital on my hands right now. I'd rather we deal with these wars first. Okay, that's great. And we are no longer chased. Fantastic. News from China. Uh, open China. Special interest in tributaries, but frowns on Balto-Slavic cultures. A very specific group of uh, cultures that you're frowning down on. Bit of a jerk, aren't you? Oh, well. Right, well, let's leave these guys just uh, siege down the holdings. I don't think we... You received the arm of a famous holy man. What? The hell? <laughs> oh, I see. We ransacked his uh, thingy. Fantastic. Alright, alright. How dare you, you son of a bitch. Unbelievable. Oh no, he's escaped. That rat motherfucker. You dumb bitch. If we can get him assassinated, if he can get the kid assassinated, then his dad will come back. Um, and maybe that'll give us a way to imprison him. Because where is he now? I don't think that's far enough for my lands. Hmm. Then again. Hmm. I suppose maybe this is for the best. In the meantime, concubine, how dare you? You are now bearing the seed of another man, which is completely unacceptable. We are going to try to find a replacement. And there is none available right now, which is making me sad. What about some uh, potentially married ones? Um, she's married to this guy, and he is not a vassal, but he is assassinable. Mm, what about you? He's 56 years old. He might die sometime soon. I guess it doesn't really matter if I have enough concubines or not. Because uh, Vanthus, the not syphilitic, is kind of getting closer to uh, coming of age. So maybe we're okay there. Uh, yeah. Hmm. There's this girl. I guess we'll keep an eye out on her. Yeah, when she comes of age, then we'll just swoop in and uh, take her up as a concubine or something. Maybe, maybe give her to Avanthus as a concubine instead. That works too, I guess. Right, in the meantime, um, what are we doing? Right, we are at war. Uh, can we piece these guys out? Not quite. Let's just assault that holding, and that is 100%, my friends. Alright. Um, right, this is awkward. 
Ah, yes, I remember. She has the Duchy of Nagchu, as well as the Duchy of Yarlung, neither of which she actually possesses. I wonder if maybe there's a way to get her to slip up, and then we send her into that feedback loop from hell, where she basically, um, where we ask her to stop backing a plot and all that crap. We'll give it some time. I'm fairly certain she uh, hates me enough that she'll... Look at it. It's already started with this guy. Fantastic. Right, you dumb son of a bitch. Can you stop, please? Thank you. Wait, what? Why is that highlighted? Are you serious? <laughs> Unacceptable. All right. So he's going to say yes to the county revocation. And we have apparently inherited some barony. Well, I don't really want it, so uh, Merry Christmas. And boom. So now I believe the kingdom of Utsang no longer exists. Yes, I need to create it, which is fine by me. And you, my friend, today is your lucky day. You are now independent. So have fun with that shit. Miss, can I maybe mm, imprison you or something? Okay, maybe we'll just wait. I'm fairly certain that she'll probably try to plot against me, considering how much she absolutely despises me. Um, and we are looking for... Right. We're just looking for rulers for this county of... Saka. And wait, this is the part of the Watachi Ingari. And in Ingari, I believe Rutog and Gar are the best counties. So, uh... Let's go with... Do we want to go with Titsuk? I'd say... Mm, no, especially not for Sokka. I think Sokka will just give to someone, uh, um, some random dude. Not so great dude. There you go. Fantastic. Alright, so we need to get ourselves a new... What? Near? Which is apparently, um, whatever language we're speaking for... Steward? They didn't realize that they had custom names for their things. Alright. There we go. Okay, she's backing a plot. Let's get her to stop. And um, it appears that the Abbasids are willing to peace out. So let's get all our troops back home, or at least into our territory, and then we'll uh, peace these guys out. Because otherwise, I think they're going to take attrition, which is not great. Because it's my retinue, damn it. If it was anyone else, we'd be fine, but not my retinue. Alright, we'll wait to hear back from her. And now the county revocation will begin. Great. Uh, let me take... Actually, let me take your duchies first. I think that might be best. There we go. And we're going to ask you to stop backing another plot, to which you will say no. And now we have the duchy of Nagchu, which is only supposed to be three counties. What the hell? I look away for one second and there's already border gore. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I demand Gavelkind from you, sir. Yeah, you know what? Sure, I'll pay you that much. At least he's Gavelkind now. Um... Now that being said... That means that he needs to die. And we could get him assassinated. Which I guess would be the easier way of doing this. So, sure. Let's get this guy assassinated, and then we'll give away the uh, duchy. In the meantime, she is right, considering another stop backing plot thing. We'll take Yarlung this time, thank you very much. Um... Sure, I guess I'll pay a thousand fucking ducats. That's like my least favorite aspect of being in this Buddhist um, thingamajig. It's just the whole garbage thing of like, oh, if you don't um, fund this extremely expensive, uh, you know, museum exhibit thing, guess what? You're going to lose ambition. And if you do, uh, you know, post it, then you're going to lose out on a crap ton of money. And uh, the other only other option is to steal it, which would either cost me an arm and leg or a crap ton of money. So you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. Absolute garbage. Anyways, let's continue on with this 
uh, revocation spree, and we're gonna go with the county of Gerze, or however the hell you're supposed to pronounce that. Yeah, well worth the money. I'm sure it was. You fucking wench. Unbelievable. I could have you executed, you know. I can't believe it. I cannot believe this. I should have had her executed, but it's fine. I don't really care that much. As long as he knows that he's a bastard and he'll never be loved. Uh, and you, my friend, not to imply that if you're a bastard, or that if you were born out of wedlock that you don't deserve love, or, or, or that you'll never be loved, but in this case, this kid will never be loved by me. Or anyone else, I don't think. Alright, now we're going to- Oh, it's a maybe now. Why is it a maybe now? It used to be a yes. Why is that now a maybe? Hmm. Not good. Why is that a maybe? Maybe she's joined a faction. Right. I see. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Hmm. Can we... That's also a maybe. Um. Well, he's the leader of the plot, though. Okay, well, let's just go for it. We have enough troops that I think we are going to be okay if she does rebel against me. I'm really hoping that she doesn't. But, you know. <sighs> Alright. There we go. And it turns out that the rebellion is much bigger than I anticipated. Which is not great. But at least the uh, Abbasids are willing to surrender. And what the fuck is this? Are you serious? The stupid- Oh my god, okay. I think we need to find a more permanent resolution to the whole, um, rebellious, uh, holy order crap. I'm kind of thinking maybe we'll just reduce them to a barony instead, rather than giving them so much power. Wait, what's this? Oh, I see. Right, right. That's the, uh, Tabriz thing. Alright, let's install Titsuk into this county then. Fuck off. There we go. Alright, Titsuk, where are you? There you are, buddy. Titsuk, you're gonna be the new Count of Tabriz. There you go. And... Not the envious dude. I guess we'll go with a stressed guy. Stressed guy, you're gonna be Titsuk's vassal. And can we? We can. Perfect. So let's usurp that and give it to him. Great. And, uh, I also forgot to give away- Right, the, uh, Duchy of Nagchu and Yarlong. Shit, I should have dealt with this before. Oh well. You can take the Duchy of Yarlong. Maybe that's why she said yeah, or she said maybe, or no in this case. Cause, um... Our, uh... Our opinion was low enough because of the old vassals not liking me... Um, holding too many... Duchy titles and all that crap, if that makes any sense. Eh, who knows? It's fine. It's not going to be that big of a deal. And my dog is dead, and we are going to assassinate this bitch-ass punk. Great. But once he dies, his holding will be split in twain, and uh, we can go ahead with the uh, distribution of the territory properly. Fantastic. He dead. So now... Perfect. Now we can give away Nagchu uh, to this guy. There you go. And you are supposed to be part of this duchy. And we're going to transfer this kid inside of you. There you go, buddy. Have fun with that shit. Unbelievable. Are you fucking serious? Unbelievable. Alright, you guys can move down into that place. Oh, I see. You're also part of the rebellion. You fucking asshole. Alright, that's fine. Only 5%? You've taken like three fucking holdings and it's only 5%? What the shit? Good grief. Alright, how about you guys move down south? Apparently that's the easier way of moving around. And Vanthus the Syphilitic? I don't know, just do whatever the hell you want. And this son of a bitch is trying to gather adventures against me. Unbelievable. Where is he? Okay, we might be able to get him assassinated. 
which would be perfect. Because I don't really feel like dealing with his stupid ass face. Not now, not ever. Okay. Well, that's not cool, mister. How dare you go around attacking my troops? Just completely not kosher. Right, you son of a bitch. We're coming in hot, we're coming in heavy. And this ain't gonna work out so well for you. Are you actually gonna attack us there? Gotta say, that's not a very smart idea. And this son of a bitch is trying to seduce my concubine as well. What the fuck, man? It sucks that I don't have- that's not considered a valid reason to, um, imprison someone. Eh. Alright, there we go. And he is headed where? Okay, he's headed, headed back into his territory there. We might get some more score if we manage to perhaps attack their uh, allies' territory as well. I apologize for the uh, William Shatner impression there. Wasn't the intention, but it is what it is. Alright, you guys can move down south. And these guys can continue the status quo. And we just got our ass blasted with this chunk. Unacceptable. You guys need to be attacking something, alright? You can't just sit there holding onto your dicks, doing absolutely nothing. Uh, no. Stay there. You guys can move down to support Hisar. Or at least the dudes in Hisar. And they have made the terrible choice of attacking us in Hisar. So, you know. There's that. Alright, these two stacks, it's gonna be way too much to support, but that's fine. And sure, let's be a falconer. Why not? Who are you? You are Jomo, my genius daughter. Let's have you go with... Struggle. Yeah. What? Are you serious, Vanthus? Alright, you know what? Let's wait until Vanthus maybe becomes a little older and then see if perhaps he still maintains that, um... That trait. Because perhaps if his trait goes away before, uh... You know, he comes of age, then, um... We don't need to worry about him developing his education poorly or whatever the hell I'm supposed to say that as. Alright, as expected, we're taking attrition in these terrible lands. The fucking... The damn, like, it's the grundle of the earth. Basically, in these lands. Good grief, look at this stupid uh, supply limit. It's the absolute pits. Anyways. Sure, I'll go visit your stupid garden whilst I'm dealing with a major rebellion in my lands. Why not, right? Why not? Actually, everyone can meet up there. Seems like a jolly old time. That's just my uh, domain troops, though, so I don't think I need to worry too much. My retinue is safe. Let's have everyone meet up in Baghdad, where the attrition is amazing, or the supply limit, rather, is amazing. And uh, everything else, I think, can be status quo. Okay, um, aha! Content man. There you go. You can take the Kingdom of Kamarupa, and apparently we need to give away Telangana as well. Yeah, not really many uh, choices in Telangana, so sure, why not? We're at 84%, so we're getting there. And uh, the supply limit is... Yeah, we're a little above it, but that's okay. 2,141 dudes, or 42 dudes is not enough to uh, um, siege down the... Uh, thing there. Good grief. And someone is trying to seduce my fucking wife. This son of a bitch again? Are you serious? Can I just give you spiritual guidance and make him lose lustful? Alright, so I freed him of his sinful ways. That's great. Is that gonna help us at all? Or... Or what? I mean, we'll still try to kill him, I guess. Because I don't really see any other uh, option here. Yeah. Damn it, a lot of people are uh, not willing to join. That sucks. And that's another fight lost. Unbelievable. Fine, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Let's attack these bastards in my capital. Thank you very much. And I think that should be not quite enough, but we're almost there. Just a little bit more. And sure, we'll give it gold. In the meantime, 
how about we stop you from uh, entering that area? Actually, no, we can just piece them out now. There we go. Unfucking acceptable. We're gonna take your county of Kulung and your duchy of Ungari. Perfect. And we can't take your county of Gar, but that's okay. We'll humiliate you and then try to imprison you again. There you go. Alright, so, so siege down that holding, and this guy also rebelled against me, so let's take his uh, crap. Ask him to stop back in that plot, and we are going to, of course, humiliate his ass. You dumb sack of shit. You? Um. He's got a few baronies. I wonder if perhaps reducing him to said barony might not be the worst idea in the world. Either that, or maybe just install him as a baron in one of my own counties here. I don't know what the best option is. But I'd say let's just keep him as a baron somewhere, because I don't like the fact that these guys are dukes and shit. County of Asar. Yeah, that's a lot of territory, actually. Um, I guess we'll count... We'll start with... Alright, let's start with that area. And we can't do that, so let's humiliate him, and then uh, I'd say let's try to imprison him again. Perfect. We'll siege down his territory once again, and all that crap. You, you dumb son of a bitch. I'm gonna take your county, uh, Duchy of Dihistan, and we can't take anything else, right? That's fine. Uh, let's make this guy the new Duke of Dihistan. There you go. And that's good. Did anyone else rebel against me? Uh, Tabaristan, right. Dumb son of a bitch. I don't know why these guys think that they can, like, step up to me when they have so much to lose. The content guy looks nice, but unfortunately he's a little too old. So, um, and he's also got cancer, so he's most likely gonna die sometime soon. So I'm just make this guy the new Duke of Tabaristan. And we're going to continue to um, revoke all the shit. And who else despises me? Parang. Okay, well, you can't have that, Parang. Let's humiliate and um, imprison. Yeah, we'll, we'll deal with the, this lady first, and then we'll deal with the Parang later. And then we'll just continue to take all their crap. Gonna be some vassal management stuff in this episode, if you guys haven't noticed, but um, it's necessary. Or at least that's my justification for it anyways. You guys can move down in there, and over there. Uh, this guy, I'm sure he will just be so happy to relinquish his last territory there. Dumb son of a bitch. Alright, so let's install someone really good in that county, because it's the county that's right next to mine. Mm, not necessarily the stubborn guy, I'd say maybe the slothful dude. Or no, this guy who's zealous and brave. Katar, right? Yeah, there we go. And you can be the new duke. Yeah, you can be the new duke of... That place. There we go. Fantastic. So at least he doesn't hate me as much. So, you know, we got that going for us. And you guys can assault that holding. And assault that holding as well. Perfect. Already at 45%. And we're gonna let this guy siege this down. A little bit of support. Sakala is under siege. Okay, I guess. Sure. I don't know if that's technically true, but sure, why not? Assault, assault, and keep the assault going. And this son of a bitch has gone into hiding. What a fucking prick. What an unbelievable prick. And we've inherited the kingdom of Nepal, which is appallingly easy to give away because there's only one duke. Good grief. These greedy bastards. Vanthus, you're still timid? Come on, you dumb sack of shit. What the hell, man? Alright, you can be my new marshal, and let's have you train troops in Hastinapura. Which is not our de facto. Um, what's this? He surrenders. Okay, good. And now we are going to revoke your... Uh... Let's go with... 
revoking your duchy in... Hmm. Maybe I should have left him in here, but it's fine. Let's revoke his... Uh, barony in that place. That's great. And then we'll revoke his county as well. Perfect. And then I'd say let's humiliate him. And then imprison him again. Perfect. Dumb sack of shit. Alright, so now we need to give away these counties and shit, but that's fine. Um... We're still continuing on with the attack there, and I need to give away Kulung as well? Jeez, I guess I never really noticed that I had Kulung in my, uh, possession. All right, you can take Kulung. There you go. And, uh, that is the Duchy of Ungari. There's this asshole over here. Aha! Perfect. We caught him in a loop. That's great. Let me just get a lot of some of these, uh, fights done. What? Vanthus the Syphilitic has become a brilliant strategist. Holy shit, look at his stats. The Syphilitic Psychopath is, uh, well, not Psychopath, he's a lunatic, so... Not necessarily a Psychopath, just... After many days of hard hunting and tracking, you finally managed to trap the White Tiger in a cul-de-sac between two rocks. The great animal is at your mercy. It looks at you with intelligent eyes, and you are suddenly struck by its great beauty. Wow, wow, wee wow. Um, we could spare it. And still become a master hunter. Or no, its head will adorn my wall. Yes. Super fantastic. Alright, you guys can uh, assault those holdings, please. Um, yeah, let me see if I can perhaps win some of these fights or these wars before we end the episode. Just so that we can start the next episode with a much cleaner cleaner start. Uh, that being said though, we have some gargantuan messes that we need to uh, deal with here as well. So maybe, maybe we should just call it a day. Perhaps that might be a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just call it a day. Um, actually, no, we're done with her. So boom. Fantastic. All right. Well, in between episodes, I will find new rulers for these counties and uh, we'll come back and um, I believe we will be able to finish this off, uh, war off fairly quickly. And I'll see if I can uh, give the title away to someone else, but still maintain this guy as my vassal. Because I want to be able to uh, call on my holy order at any time. Although that being said, um, I think our retinue should be more than enough to handle um, anything that arises in the future. So we don't really need to rely on our holy order anymore but still good to have and then we'll probably go to war with the Abbasids again for the duchy of Azerbaijan this time and then finish off the kingdom of Delam. Alright so for now thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.